Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here to unbox this brand new phone. First time you're seeing this company on the channel, Eulophone and their Armor 9E. Now, this is a rugged device and has some amazing specs as well. And shout out to Eulophone for sending this out. Very excited to check out this first phone of theirs on the channel. So quick rundown of the specs. It looks like we have IP69K, IP68 proof, a 6.3 inch full HD display. We have a Helio P90 octa-core processor, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage with face unlock, fingerprint ID, a 64 megapixel main camera, quad camera setup on the back, an eight megapixel front camera, NFC, 6,600 milliampers. That is a gigantic battery capacity, Android 10, which is also great to see. So check the links in the description for the latest pricing on this Armor 90. And let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. So slicing the edge here and lifting the lid and let's have a look. There it is, the Eulophone Armor 9E. We have another chunky boy here on the channel, but that means we're gonna have some incredible battery life on this phone. So setting that aside, let's look at what's inside the box first. Ooh, and we got a tempered glass protector that comes included, but it's not just like a cheap glass protector with 9H hardness, scratch resistant, ultra clear, fingerprint resistant, and shatterproof. This looks like a pretty high quality glass protector. And we got our paperwork here, instructions of phone charging, the warranty card, multifunction instructions, and the user manual in multiple languages. USB-C charging cable, that is very good to see. And this feels like a very quality cable. And it looks like we also have a USB-A to USB-C adapter included, that's very nice. And wow, this looks like a little strap for the phone as well, given how heavy this phone probably is, a very nice accessory to include. And last but not least, we have our charging brick. Yeah, it looks like an 18 watt fast charger in the box for this phone. And so now let's do it. The Armor 90, tear off the plastic here. Ooh hoo hoo, look at this. And with all the stickers removed, we have our first look at this Eulophone 9E IP68 rating here on the back. And this is definitely a tank of a phone with a similar type of feel to that Doogee S88 Pro. But look at this, is that what I think it is? A 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is something I have not seen on the other rugged phones I've tested. And tearing off the screen protector now. And there it is, the Eulophone Armor 9E. Go ahead and turn this on, Eulophone. Powered by Android. But as that is loading up, let's go ahead and open this endoscope camera, which is basically designed, guys, to be able to kind of get into places in HVAC or in plumbing. This is a very important tool. And here is where you see, we'll actually plug into the phone. And once that's plugged in right there, you're gonna be able to use this endoscope camera. And now let's also look at the Eulophone protective case. Wow, this thing is thick. Let's actually go ahead and insert the phone. And just point of reference, here's the Galaxy full two you can see them next to each other and another point of reference here's my ray-bans sunglasses case but you could still fit this in your pocket and this is a welcome sight the hi there which means we're gonna have another very stock android interface on this phone so let me go ahead and set this up and then give my initial impressions of this phone all right, and here we are on the Eulophone Armor 90, fully set up and initial impressions of this display and this phone. I'm super happy with the stock look. It is an LCD display, but the panel upon initial impressions looks pretty good. And this is the first time I'm using this Helio P90 on a phone, but from what I've read about it, it will offer you performance similar to a Snapdragon 730. And I think compared to some of the other rugged phones I've tested, it's really stealth and you can tell it's built from very premium materials. The buttons feel very clicky. And once again, love seeing the Google Discover page ready to go here on this phone. And so here we go. I'm gonna put this phone through its paces for the next couple of days and come back with my full review and thoughts of this Eulophone Armor 90. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm back after a couple of days of using this Armor 90 from Eulophone. And instead of going down the typical rundown, I wanna share with you my five favorite things about this device and why I think it is one of the best rugged phones I've used this year. So the first one has got to be the design. And this is just a supremely rugged phone. But as far as rugged phones go, I think it's a very subtle look. It's not kind of over the top. And this phone is mil standard 810G. So it will withstand the elements. And with IP68 and 69K protection, you're gonna be able to get this phone wet. It can probably survive in some extreme conditions. This is why you would pick up one of these phones. And yes, it is a heavy device at 320 grams, 15 millimeters in terms of thickness 
thickness. So it's no getting around that, but you will have a giant battery in this phone. And I think for most of you who are considering this phone, that is gonna be a non-issue. My second favorite thing of the Eulophone Armor 90 has got to be this 6.3 inch water drop display. And in my testing, this display is actually really solid on this Armor 90. And this display is surprisingly great for watching content. And despite having these larger bezels, it's actually very immersive an experience. With a surprisingly loud bottom speaker and solid viewing angles, they've actually put a great display in this Armor 90. And it's my second favorite thing about this device. And my third favorite thing about this Armor 90 has got to be the performance. The Helio P90 makes its debut here on the channel and surprisingly it's been a solid experience. Here you see scores of almost 200,000 in Antutu but that only tells part of the story. With a really clean version of Android and this is Android 10, I'm just enjoying the stock like nature of the experience and this looks both great in regular and the dark theme that can be enabled which actually looks really great on this Armor 90 as well. And with 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, you're going to have a a lot of room for all of your favorite games and apps and a great multitasking experience as well. But my fourth favorite feature of this Armor 90 has got to be the battery life. And with 6,600 milliampers of capacity, this is one of the biggest batteries that I've tested on any phone this year. And with a calculated screen on time of 12 hours and 21 minutes, you're gonna be able to go easily two days, maybe even three or four with light use. Now I've charged this phone once since I started reviewing it three days ago. And right now I'm at 45% and I don't expect this phone, even with light use today, to completely die off. And so the battery life on this Eulophone Armor 90 is my fourth favorite thing. It's just incredible. And my fifth favorite thing about this Eulophone Armor 9 is actually the main camera. And the main camera here is a 64 megapixel Samsung sensor. I would guess it's maybe the GW1, like what we see on the Realme X2 Pro, but we also have a secondary ultra wide camera, eight megapixels, and then those two secondary cameras, macro and depth sensor, which I'm never a huge fan of, as I've said before. But you know guys, come Coming into this review, I was not expecting much from the main camera, given that my previous experience with a lot of rugged phones has meant really bad cameras. But as you see with some of the shots of the main sensor, you're getting results from this rugged phone that are no different than a lot of these 64 megapixel phones that I test on the channel all the time, like the Realme X2 Pro and a number of other devices from Xiaomi as well. With some super saturated colors, I think a lot of you guys might really love these types of shots. Now there is one slight nitpick I will mention which is that the AI camera sometimes tends to go a bit overboard and this is a clear example you can see right here this looks like a really nice shot but the colors I think are just a little bit too amped up so I went ahead and actually took the same shot without the AI camera and surprisingly enough I actually prefer the regular shot coming out of this camera versus the AI camera shot here it just looks more natural and it has a lot of great detail as well you can make out the individual strands of metal in that fence and even at night, this 64 megapixel main camera managed to capture some great detail. I was really surprised to see the level of detail that I got from this rugged phone. Now guys, I'm not saying that this is flagship level or in any way kind of as good as phones like the Pixel 4a, the iPhone 11, or any of those other phones. But I think if you did a blind test of a number of these shots with a lot of the phones I've tested recently, you may actually prefer some of the images from this Armor 90. And I think considering the competition and the types of quality images you get that's saying a lot for this phone and so those were my five favorite things but guys beyond even that is just all the aspects of this device that make it a great rugged phone like all the multiple ways you can use to take this phone including the back clip a sling, armband, and holder, which can be attached to a bike. And last but not least, guys, we do have this endoscope camera that I did also manage to test. And once the camera is plugged in like so, it is actually turned on. And you can actually click right here and go ahead and begin to take photos with this camera. It is pretty neat, guys. And look at that crazy effect. And moving it up, you have this very thin, very long wire with a camera and lighting at the end, which can be used to go into AC units, plumbing. And I think this is a super useful tool for a lot of contractors who probably do have other solutions, but they are probably not as seamless and as effective as the one that I see here. And as you see in this footage, it can be a very effective tool for finding out what's wrong with your appliance, your plumbing, and even more. 
So that's it for this video and my final verdict then on this Armor 9E. I can say this with confidence, this is probably the best rugged phone that I've tested so far this year. Now that being said though, the price is a little bit higher than some of the other ones. I think it is around $469, but considering all you're getting in this phone, the solid build quality, mil standard 810G, great mid-range performance from the Helio P90, incredible battery life, 6,600 milliampers, a very clean stock Android experience, experience. And yes, while the front selfie camera did not impress me, the rear main camera is actually really impressive and is probably the best main camera I've tested on any rugged phone. And so when you put that all together, the Armor 90 is a great addition to Eulophone's lineup. I think they've delivered a solid quad camera phone here. Check out the links in the description and confidently saying it, the best rugged phone I've tested so far in 2020. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this Armor 90? E? And what are your thoughts on Eulophone in general? This is my first time experiencing one of their phones and I'm very impressed. But hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Stay tuned guys, more great content coming here in October. Thanks once again to Eulophone also for sending this one out. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.